just talking about the basic use of the plunger. Let's start with the mechanics of what's going on here. So we have the plunger, okay? The first thing you want to do when you get a plunger is to drill that center hole out there. You want to make a huge space there so that you can allow the air to flow through and be able to get more different types of sounds, closed plunger, open plunger, that type of thing. When using the pixie mute, you want to make sure that you remove that inner stem. Just get a pair of pliers or whatever. This, this is pretty chewed up here. I'm not sure exactly how I took that out. It was probably almost 20 years ago when I took this thing out of there. But make sure you get that stem out of there and it's going to allow you to get a better, uh, fuller sound, a better, uh, a better buzz. So let's just go with, let's just try playing. We're going to try playing here with both the regular plunger and with the pixie mute. We're going to do a little bit of both. Now what you want to think about is that the plunger, and its basic purpose is to emulate the voice. So that's where we're going to start. So you're looking at this as kind of like lips when you say the word what, what, what. The, the plunger is going to act the same way that your lips would when you're having a conversation. So it's a lot of different things you can do, but just keep in mind that you are using the plunger the same way you would use your lips when you're speaking. It's very important. We're going to try a little bit of, with the pixie mute, different sound, but the same basic concept. So there you go, just a quick basic plunger thing. One of my favorites is the tight plunger. You hear that a lot from uh, Joe Nanton. One of my favorite trombonist, Al Gray, used to do that a lot. Don't laugh. <laughs> Don't laugh. But yeah, so just some basic ideas on what you can do with the plunger. Go ahead and have fun with it. There's a lot of other things you can do, but I want you to experiment for yourself.